Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 4. We find ourselves in the university point uh, with a nice bit of uh, pre-war story that there has been uh, Professor Campbell, right? He was doing some uh, some research, uh, army-related research. Uh, the dean was not very happy about it. Then. Uh, way uh, after that, after the bombs fell and everything. Um, people are living here, they are fishermen, they are farmers and everything, but one particularly smart girl, Jacqueline, uh, she is maintaining the terminals here, she uh, restores the relay network, and she apparently comes across a certain energy research, where institute, uh, in which institute is interested as well. And then the institute wipes everyone out, because, uh, yeah, things are not very clear how they develop from here. Do people actually agree on uh, giving up Jacqueline or not? I don't know. Let's find, let's try to find out uh, in her terminal, eh? Her journal. Mom's birthday. It was yesterday. Dad and I left flowers on her grave. He was telling stories about her and I kind of mentioned that I don't really remember what she looked like anymore. He said it was okay, but I can hear him sobbing in his room. Ugh, I can't take this right now. I'm gonna go scavenging in the flooded area. Still haven't replaced my secondary hard disk after it blew out last week. Maybe I can find a new one. Sylvia also said that her network port has been acting up. Good find. Looks like Dad has stopped crying. Hope he didn't realize I snuck back there by myself. I've gotten so good that the lyrics don't even know I'm there. I didn't manage to find the replacement port for Sylvia, but I did manage to pull a hard disk out of a large console in one of the lecture halls. Some of the data on it even seems to be intact. I'm going to poke around before I reform it. Who knows, maybe there is something interesting on it. Score. Oh man, this is big. I managed to get part of the data off that hard disk and it seems to be some research about reactor efficiency. Part of it was corrupt, but I might be able to find the rest somewhere else. There was a caravan passing through, so I figured I'd see what I might get if I could find the rest of it. He said to the right person, that kind of thing might be worth several hundred caps. We agreed to a 25-75 cut if he can find a buyer. Now I just need to figure out how to get the rest of the data. Today is terrible. I haven't been able to make any progress with finding the data, and the lyrics have started laying eggs again. And to make matters worse, they just got back from some council meeting and somehow found out I had been searching the flooded area. He locked everything up and said I'm not allowed to do any scavenging. I tried to explain about the data and he listened, but then started acting weird and told me to go to my room and not to come down till he sorts things out. What's going on? What have I done? Oh god, what did I do? I've been getting mail from everyone in town saying that the institute is coming and asking if it's my fault. Someone even accused me of being a synth. Somehow they must have found out about the reactor research, but it's not even complete. Dad said that it was probably just some scammer or a raider trying to trick us, but I don't know. What if it really is the institute? I need to get back in there and find that data somehow. University mail anyway. Deleted mail. Not going to die for you. You synth. What actually happened? It's not your fault. Don't leave your home. You stupid girl. Do you have any idea what you've done? You brats think that just because they haven't attacked anyone in years that it's something we all made up. But now the Institute is going to come and kill us all. Did you even think about you? Did you even think about that? Your father says you don't have this data thereafter, but if that's the case, then for all we know, you are actually working for the Institute. No more scavenging. 
Jacqueline, I'm serious, no more scavenging until this thing with the council blows over. I know people are scared, but I think this guy that I talk to is just a con man. The institute hasn't shown up in a long time, why would they now? I've been calming things down around town and I think I've got enough support that I can block anything crazy in the vote tonight. I'm not mad at you, but I want you to stay home and just don't stir anything up for right now. Remote door control. And Jacques holotape. We know this guy. We brought him home as a matter of fact. Hold. Okay. Let's go. Just give me a shout when you need me. Walk a hundred miles if I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end. Now, I... Yes, I've read that I missed this terminal. Student directory. 2077-2078 Enrolled undergraduates Campbell's safe password added. Current GPA. Otis is not doing so good, eh? Matthew... Wesley Matthews is doing well. So basically, that's the only directory up here right now. Okay, that was that one. Oh, Jill is the only one. Oh, Jeffrey. Student directory archives, but that one is not found. I think we're actually done here. Just out of curiosity, I might consider going on the roof. Because why not, right? It is unfortunately the daylight out there. You're engaging hostile light. <laughs> Now he's just starting to have fun. fun. And this is why I'm not a big fan of traversing in the daylight.
No, that was not fun at all. I have some delivery today, which as a matter of fact should happen within the next hour. So at one point of time I may just uh, tell that I need to take a break and I will go for a small pause. You, you shouldn't notice a thing, but nonetheless. Let's skip the daylight. Not a big fan of that one. And now we can proceed with our journey. I would like to continue making my detour to the south. Like, uh, it was a nice uh, exploration of the university point, but uh, I want to go slightly slightly more to the south. Um, and maybe then we'll make even a detour to the Jamaica plane. We shall see about that. Yeah, I already see Jamaica plane on my map. On my uh, compass down there. This emergency frequency, I believe it comes from the South Boston uh, military checkpoint. Uh, no. I am not going there. This is a DOC area, and I'm not in the mood for this DOC at the moment. This is not going according to my plan. I'm not going to engage with it. I will leave it for a much later time. Is someone there? I can hear you. Get me out of this thing. Get me out of here! Bill. Is someone in there? Let me... You still there? Let me out! Who are you? My name is Billy. Please. I've been trapped in here for so long. How did you end up in there? I hid in here to get away from the bomb. But there what? isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs were over 200 years ago. You're that old? I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. Please, I don't want to die in here. Okay, okay. I'll let you out. Yes. I've been stuck in here for so long. Hurry up. Shoot the door off. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. I guess I was in there for a really long time. What do I do now? So, what's the story with you and that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out. But there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? Please? Where did you live? Quincy, but I don't know how to get there. Everything's Crap, so I don't want to go to Quincy. So blown up. I just want to find out what happened to my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. There better be some gold at the end of this rainbow if you catch my meaning. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. Whoa. It's nighttime and it's still kind of bright. It was always pitch black in the fridge. Oh. 
Crap. Uh, I should have made a better research on that one. Yeah, I'm contemplating my life choices right now. Never wanted to go to Quincy that early in the game. And I am level 34, so I should be fine. You wanna start glowing or something? What the hell was that thing? I got really confused over there. I'm a go. Things around here. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> yes. Oh. Do I see a terminal over there? I certainly do. Journal entries. October 19. My argument with Carol delayed my arrival, but I got a pretty good view of the sunset from the road. Getting the generator and lamps going in the dark was a real pain. I guess city life has made me soft. Ah. Don't remember my old man ever having to set up in a pitch black. But then again, I can't recall mom ever delaying the trip ever. But what are you gonna do, huh? First year in the old cabin alone. The silence is just what I need. This kind of solitary should leave me free to work on the novel that's been kicking around my head all these years. Going to grab some shot eye and then I'll get started in the morning. October 20th. Rose earlier than expected to the sounds of construction work. It seems they begun work on a rock quarry up the road since coming here last year. No matter, just a bump in the road. I can work through it. I'm sure Steinbeck and Hemingway didn't work in total silence. Surely I can work this into the narrative somehow, give the main character an edge. Yeah, that's the ticket. God damn it! What kind of sweatshop are they running over there? The work into the late hours of the night, I can't escape their constant hammering and digging. When I get back to the city, I'm going to lodge a formal complaint. There is no way those are union hours. I can hear it now. Maybe if you were a better writer, you could work through it. Well, Carol, this is nothing compared to your banshee wails. If I can ignore your constant nagging, I can work through this. 
back to the book. I'll deal with the quarry morons later. Ralph uh, something ski, uh, that was the foreman's name. I'm writing it here for my formal complaint. Something Polish. Idiot yelled right in my face and told me to get out of his. I hope this guy falls into the quarry. I hope all of them do. Then maybe... Then maybe then I could get some peace and quiet around here. Can't get it at home, that's for sure. Spent some time shooting cans off the picnic tables. Then started uh, taking out some of the crabs scurrying around the river. If I had a son, I could teach him how to shoot just like Dad taught me. Instead I got only daughters. Not good for anything, are you, Carol? Dear God, they added it again. Jesus, I can't stand this racket. The silence before the storm. Acknowledgement. To my wife, Carol, and my darling daughters, you are the source of my inspiration. Chapter 1. As the captain steered the ship, he... Chapter 2. Okay. Chapter 3. No. What the hell are those things, eh? What are you? I am not happy at that thing, no. Christ almighty. Uh, okay. Let me see if there is anyth anything interesting in this park. No, there is only power armor somewhere, but uh, as I said, not interested. I'm gonna get back on the road. Then maybe I will try to follow. Yeah, well, there is only the interstate to try to follow. Here has been some shooting. I can see some remains up ahead. Kate. Kate. This would be said quarry. Slightly down the road. Oh, Billy. What, you, what are you doing to me, Billy? Not very interested in the quarry, thank you very much. I just want to sneakily bring the little guy home. If that is possible, and then be on my merry business. God damn it, we discovered Quincy Ruins. You know what that means, right? We have to clear them up right now. I 
Синобни. Gonna need that stuff anymore. Nope. Hey, this site belongs to the Minutemen. Well, if you say so. We are meant to argue, right? It is unusual to see you in Quincy. I thought like Quincy was your base, but then you were like whooped up real hard. And you were forced to leave Quincy. Yeah. I'm really trying my best not to hit. Any other location on the strip? Hopefully, we are somewhere nearby. Mom? Dad? Are you in there? Billy! Billy! Son? Be by the house. Is that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh my god! We thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. We're ghouls, Billy. The radiation changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. Yeah? Huh? You there, in the house. I want those ghouls, especially that kid. You can give them a peaceful life or die trying to save them. Why does he want me? Oh my god, they want Billy! They won't take us, Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. Who's the voice actor for this guy? The house is empty. Looks like they left in a hurry. God damn it! Alright boys, we're heading south. Double time! Shh! Everybody be quiet. I have no idea who I even spoke with. Okay, apparently those guys. Thank you for bringing us back, our little boy, and saving us from that man. 
So, how did you end up as ghouls? We didn't make it to the shelter in time. The door was shutting as the bombs fell. We both must have taken a lot of radiation. I guess we were some of the lucky ones. Most folks die instead of becoming ghouls. Must be something in both our genes. So that's why you guys look like me. Yeah, Billy. That's why. <laughs> Although it's really more why you look like us. We wandered for a while, but eventually came back here. We've been living here ever since. Not really anywhere else to go. Let me thank you. Take this. Okay. Cool. Can't go outside huh? and play. All oh, my friends are Excuse dead. me. Uh, like thank you for saving that. Billy. Where did I put that? Gotta get some more ammo soon. I never thought I would see my mom and dad again. Thanks. Hi there. Okay, not very talkative kid, but that doesn't matter. Hey. Hey. Axes to grind. Hell, I have a ton of them. Hey. What do you want? Hey. Take this. You're gonna need it. Your thoughts? Nothing I love more than hiking in the rain. Good for you. That's all for now. All right. We might have more of that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I find myself in the middle of uh, Quincy. As I said, I did not have any intention of visiting this part so early. Like, at least it feels to me like it's early. Um, because this place is filled with stuff. Yes, there is uh, Quincy Police Station. Yes, there is a lot of gunners, that's true. Um, but I guess since we are here, right, we might as well check this stuff around. I mean, we came here, right? Um, hmm. There are some nice bobbleheads nearby. Might collect them. Um, I mean, it's the corner of the map. Since I've been already pushed here, thanks to Billy, uh, we might as well make use of it, right? In any case, we need to spend some time with uh, Mr. McCready here. That's where I want to go right now. And then, uh, once this will be done, I don't need to go here Again, right? I mean, the place will be cleared out, and uh, yeah, you can just forget about this corner of the map and concentrate on some locations uh, in the center. Terminal. Maintenance terminal. Outflow access. Pump status offline. Maintenance access available. Door access, just offline. Yeah, with the master I might unlock it, but they say that the outflow is open. Well, let's uh, let's go find this outflow, shall we? Judging by the name, out for. Huh? 
I would assume it has something to do with uh, maybe some pipe. Things are not going very well, do they? Going through the raiders. Should it just run? You slippery little. You picked the wrong day to piss me off. What's that? Over my dead body. We have two survivalists, but I'm not sure if one of them is in power armor. Just, uh, just wind, as usual. Uh, some shite in my eye. You coming? Hey, Easy. stay there. Fine, I'll hang out here. Come on. All right. Now I was uh, on a search of an outfall pipe. Or out for access. But uh, before I actually proceed with my search, uh, let me make a save and then I will uh, pause because delivery should be soon. I will be back with you in just a moment. And just like that, we are continuing with our broadcast. Fridge is restocked, delivery is complete, so let's go and check out this uh, wondrous place, shall we? That's a dead veteran. But who killed him? That definitely wasn't me. <laughs> I really don't like them exploding. They do damage my health a little bit. Uh, 
empty blood sack. I would want want an empty blood sack. Hmm? Where can one also find an outflow access? Christ Almighty, Macready. Scared me. Of course. Well, <clears throat> you know the drill. First we're going to get soaked, then we're going to get cold. As if we weren't miserable enough already. Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. Seriously? You're doing it now? So we're done with the gunners? Definitely. With those two clowns taking a dirt nap, I'm pretty sure the gunners heard my message loud and clear. Couldn't have done it without your help. You stuck your neck out for me. And I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. Cursing doesn't offend me, you know. I didn't think it did. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the capital wasteland, I didn't just leave little lamplight behind. I left my family behind. Had a beautiful wife named Lucy. And a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Can you trust this Sinclair guy? To be honest, I don't know him from Adam. But he brought up the blue boils and the sickness his partner suffered from. There's no way that's a coincidence. Or a trap. Would make any sense. If Sinclair says MedTech research is the place, that's where we need to go. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put medtech research on your map. When you I think I know what it is. Out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. What debt? You already gave me my caps back. Well, you're not going to need that stuff anymore. There is water. 
Surely there must be my lurks. And they were. Okay, that's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. Come on, you've been at the ghoul infested fish plant where camps are made. Surely you know waters by now. If humans were meant to swim, the radiation would have given us flippers. What's up? Here. I'll take care of it. I don't know where they are. Now that's what I call a confirm. Let's get it on. Waste of time is this small hatchlings. Those really take a lot of time. You're underwater. How do I get you under the water? Uh, I can't stand getting wet. I can't find them. Damn it. Why am I not in stealth? Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Come on, you can hit it. Ah, much better. Hatchlings. Just don't like them. They are awful. Like, however you look at them, they are just, like, awful. They don't present a significant danger, they just, like, take your time. That's the worst thing. <sighs> What's that smell coming from? I 
Things were meant to swim. The radiation would have given us flippers. Okay, let's check out the security terminal. Sure. It's not give. Is it vets? It's not vets. But it is a lace. Read me. The goddamn Myler triggered security down here is the roof access. Cutty. Security door control. Uh, oh, sorry uh. for that. Robot, take the day off or something. Well, given that uh, the product run was completely ignoring uh, all the mile orcs around, yes, maybe they were taking the day off. Always miss the turrets. It's not like they present danger for me because, well, I can just find my way around them. First, we're going to get soaked, then, we're going to get cold. If we weren't miserable enough already. Find them! Find them! Hey! Sure, no sweat. Shoot for his head! You not attempt to play. You will be identified right. and sanctioned. This shouldn't take long. It will take you forever, I believe. At least you will be entertained, right? some solvents quite a lot of bodies in this uh, place what were you trying to get here hmm? sweet snub nosed 44 pistol Quick. 
side and the energy. Joke. <laughs> okay, that looked like it hurt. How did this thing teleport him? And who did What's I up? hear? Wait there. Okay. Just give me a shout when you need me. I heard someone here. Did I not? Exit to the Commonwealth. A safe. Not miscellaneous. Not fury either. Not pack. Got it. Yeah. Always thought those computers were a waste of time. Who's there? Sure as hell looks that way. Oh, crap. Commencing attack on hostile target. A lawful use of deadly force is in progress. Citizens are advised to clear. in there? False alarm. Who's Standing down. Okay. Turret is down. And we have this significant area for exploration. All 
clear. Yeah, follow me. Intruder, I'll take care of it. Identify yourself. Well, sneaking's out of the question in here. Psst. Sure, no sweat. Stay. Fine, I'll hang out here. I just want to bring him into this big area so that eventually I can uh, find him and bring him closer if need be. So I heard a lot of raiders around but I did not see one. To say the least, this is confusing. Can you turn? No one is coming to investigate it. That would be at least suspicious, don't you think so? And yet I truly don't see anyone investigating that. I'm impressed. I believe there is a dude in the power armor. Yes, that was the type of encounter I was talking about. Huh. That's it. I rushed to deal with the uh, Protectron. Does anyone come here? Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Who is what way? Shit's got ambush all over it. <laughs> You're getting paranoid. There ain't nothing here. Yeah, that is just me. Come on, I must be getting closer to the raiders. Yeah, there he is. Or she is. 
Катя. Nice and quiet here. That is impressive. Have more raiders this way. This should be the roof access. Yes, for now, still locked. a damn powerful light, I must say. Now let's stay very careful. Show your face. Come on, I dare you. Have at least one attack dog. Of them now. Survivalist and Kati. Those are the three left, right? Now we need to find Kati and swap the fusion core out of her. Take some time before they exit, right? Don't 
I should exit it though. They should exit though, right? Was there more than one fusion core? I'm gonna tear you up. <clears throat> What the? <gasps> Come on, sixty percent. We should be able to do it. No. Beside an energy key. Endurance bobble hat. Always be ready to take one for the team. And a Tesla science. Ten number one hits. Leaded, leaded shadowed uh, armor. Okay. Chair. Quarry. Something okay. Something is not okay. Raider power armor. Second one. <sighs> Alrighty. Okay, any chance that I can fetch McCready from somewhere here? Oh, that was... Uh, yeah, I need to review my footage. Was there more than one, uh, indeed, uh, fusion core on uh, on uh, Kati? Ah, am I looking the wrong way? Is McCready... In another direction? Yo, psst. Let's go. Got it. Cool. Okay. Let's uh, take a break here. It was, uh, Yeah, uh, my planning clearly was uh, nothing because I wanted to make a small detour, uh, maybe to make a plane, hoping to get McCready open. We found a kid in the fridge uh, who forced my uh, path to Quincy. Uh, now, since I'm in Quincy, Come on, this is uh, the corner of the map. Let's make use of it since we're here. And then McCready opens up and sends me to... Well, not to the other corner, but... That's quite a long way. Um, I think... That we will finish the corner. Uh, pass through the Jamaica Plain and maybe South Boston checkpoints. Uh, through Boston... In, in Boston itself, we will try to ignore as much as we can. Although maybe I will pick a Pikman's uh, blade, um, simply because I just want uh, a faster weapon. Um, but yeah, other than that, we will try to ignore it to the best uh, that we can. Uh, we will try to make it to the medtech uh, research, uh, then be done with McCready, pick up another companion, and then uh, and then see what's left. That's a uh, high-level overview. Hopefully, no more surprises from McCready this time. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that will unravel. For now, uh, thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoy my company and my gameplay. If that's the case, then please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. Or otherwise, let me know down in the comments what I can improve for you. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day out there. Bye.